Welcome. We have quite a variety of today's lineup of news stories. So stay tuned and let's discuss. Let's start the news with Story of Courage as a North Korean defector made a surprising appearance as a contestant on a new idol survival program. The show, Make Mate One, which premiered at KBS2 on May 15th, introduced viewers to young male contestants from around the world, all looking for a shot at K-pop fame. During the first episode, the coaches and contestants were stunned by the story of one particular contestant, Kim Hak-song. He revealed that he had escaped from North Korea in 2017 at the age of 14. Escaping from North Korea is incredibly risky, with defectors facing the threat of death if caught. Kim's decision to share his background on national television was brave, considering the challenges that defectors often face when integrating into South Korean society. Despite linguistic, cultural, and practical hurdles, he chose to confront his past openly. He explained, I was worried about adjusting to this new society. Watching TV helped me learn about the culture here. Seeing idols on TV, I admired them and dreamed of becoming like them. It was uncomfortable to share my background, but I knew I had to face it to grow stronger. His courage impressed the coaches and fellow contestants. When asked about his goal, Kim stated, I want to inspire hope for those facing challenges or unable to pursue their dreams. Many Korean netizens have expressed surprise and support for him. Let's cheer him on. Fans demanded Sung Han's return to Rise as they chanted Rise is 7 at a Mexican fan concert, causing the clip to go viral. As we all know, Sung Han from Rise has been on an ongoing hiatus due to a controversial dating photo from before the group's debut. The fandom has been divided, and some fans have persistently urged SM to bring Sung Han back to the group. This month, the six active members of RISE embarked on their first international fan concert tour. Rising Day, making a stop at Mexico City on May 15th to an excited and enthusiastic crowd. At one point, the audience began chanting, RISE is 7, demanding Sung Han's return. Check this out. The clip of the chanting has since gone viral, amassing over 1.5 million views. The international fans' response has been largely positive, with many expressing gratitude to Mexican fans for their passionate display. However, Korean netizens have shown a different reaction, with some expressing annoyance at the international fans' behavior, viewing it as disrespectful to the six members present. What do you think? And Baby Monster just made a huge splash with their first ever sold out fan meeting tour in Japan. The response has been incredible. The event, titled Baby Monster Presence See You There in Japan, took place on the 11th and 12th at Tokyo's Ariaki Arena. All 26,000 seats were snapped up, including the initial 20,000 and extra seats added due to high demand from fans. Baby Monster kicked off the event with their debut song, Sheesh, which was met with thunderous cheers. They wowed the audience with a varied set list, including the first ever performances of Like That and Stuck in the Middle remix from their debut mini album, a full group performance of Batter Up, and cover songs previously featured on their debut reality series. Despite being newcomers, the members displayed confident stage presence, moving freely and engaging the audience throughout the show. Fans noted their polished stage presence far beyond what one would expect from rookies. They looked like seasoned performers. Following the event, major Japanese media outlets such as Sankei Sports, Sports Nippon Annex, Nippon TV News, Oricon, and Rolling Stone Japan covered Baby Monster's fan meeting. They highlighted the group's impressive live performances with handheld microphones and their warm interactions with fans. Sankei Sports ran the headline, Monster Rookie Baby Monster, first landing in Japan, praising the group's monster-level performance that thrilled the audience. The girls' popularity has been skyrocketing lately, but with fame comes the need for tighter security measures. Their first airport experience was a bit of a chaos, to say the least. The crowds were so intense that guards had to form a human chain just to protect them. As soon as the members stepped foot inside the airport, the impact of their influence was undeniable. Fans swarmed the place, eager for even just a glimpse of them. Thankfully, the staff from YG seemed well-prepared for the frenzy. As the members approached the check-in desk, a human chain of staff and guards formed around them, ensuring their safety amidst the crowd. The reactions from the members varied. While the youngest member, Chiquita, seemed ready for the cameras, on the other hand, Ayan appeared visibly overwhelmed by the sea of people. She made sure everyone was okay as she navigated through the crowd, 
her concern for their safety evident. As they embark on their journey to four more cities to meet their fans, we wish the members safe travels. Moving on to Baby Monster's senior, Treasures Haruto displayed remarkable professionalism after sustaining an injury during a recent concert mishap. On May 18th, Treasure performed in Hong Kong as part of their 2024 Reboot Asia Tour, drawing excitement from fans who shared videos of the event. However, during one segment of the show, an unfortunate incident occurred. As Haruto dashed across the stage, a stage lift began to rise at the wrong timing, causing him to trip and fall hard on the other side. He was seen laying briefly before getting back up and finishing the song without making any fuss. Throughout the rest of the concert, Haruto persevered, though fans noticed visible injuries on his arm and hand. YG Entertainment later announced that Haruto would visit the hospital upon returning to Korea. Currently, they have treated his shoulder bruises. We send our well wishes to Haruto and the Treasure Boys for a safe completion of their Asia tour. Now here's something different. XG's Kokona made a bold fashion statement for a female idol. She debuted a completely shaved head. In the world of female K-pop idols, long, beautiful hair is often a defining feature that adds to their overall appearance and even plays a role in their choreography. Take New Jeans, for example, who captivate with their flowing locks in their debut video of Attention, or Ives Jong Won Young, known for her feminine long hair. But sometimes, idols undergo transformations for comebacks, and XG's Kokona took it to a whole new level. Recently, XG announced their comeback and dropped the first teaser featuring Kokona on May 16th. Viewers were shocked to see her apparently shaving her head. However, doubts lingered about whether the head shaving was real until their opening concert. XG kicked off their first world tour, the first howl in Osaka, giving fans a chance to see them live. And from the start of the concert, Kokona's new hairstyle was unmistakable. Her head was completely shaved. And you know what? She looked stunning. This new look seems to highlight her beauty even more. While surprising, many found this bold move empowering for women. Fans echoed these sentiments, praising the idol for her daring choice in styling. What do you think? And speaking of surprises, actress Gu Hae Sun has stunned the public by revealing that she has spent all her money and is now living out of her car. In case you missed it, she was previously married to actor and Jae Hyun, and their messy divorce was filled with drama and controversies, leaving both parties damaged. It's a lot to unpack, but we'll save the details for another time. Now, in the fourth episode of TVN's Real or Real, which aired on May 16th, viewers got a glimpse into Gu Hae Soon's daily life. During the episode, she admitted, I have spent most of my money. After some bad things happened, my family has become much closer. The footage showed her starting her day inside her car, parked at a school lot in Songba Gusol at 6.30 a.m. Despite the freezing winter weather, she was living in her car, looking noticeably puffy. Gu Hae Soon explained that she is currently in her fourth year of Sung Kyung Kwan University's film studies program and is determined to finish it. She revealed her living situation. I don't have a permanent residence. I stay at my mother's house in Incheon, but on exam days or important occasions, I sleep in my car or at the library. When asked why she couldn't commute, she explained, to make it to school for a 9 a.m. class means I have to leave Incheon at 6.30 a.m. It's a three to four hour drive. One of the hosts, John Hyun Moo, expressed concern about her hygiene living in a car. Gu Hae Soon pulled out wet wipes saying, I honestly wonder why we need to wash every day. As long as I have wet wipes, I can manage. She also showed how she handles meals in her car with instant noodles, ready to eat rice, snacks, and a thermos with hot water. Fellow actor Choi Daniel expressed concern over her lifestyle. Meanwhile, Real or Real is an observational and mystery entertainment program that challenges viewers to determine whether the extraordinary daily lives of celebrities are genuine or staged. What's your take on this one? Another actress whose name is stirring controversy now is Song Da Eun. For the past two years, there have been persistent rumors about BTS's Jimin dating her. Song Da Eun firmly denied these rumors, stating that she has no personal connection with Jimin and assured fans that there is no romantic involvement between her and the BTS member. However, she recently faced scrutiny after posting a series of Instagram stories that seemed to counter her stance. These posts included images of earphone cases with Da Eun and Jimin written on them and Song wearing a BTS t-shirt. Although the posts were deleted shortly after, commenters continued to demand an explanation from her, accusing her of deliberately suggesting she was dating Jimin. Furthermore, 
Netizens also pointed out that Song shared a video of a person walking by the Brooklyn Park Pier, covering the person with a flower emoticon. Fans quickly noticed similarities to a photo of Jimin that V had uploaded last year. Some believe that the post was simply Song expressing her admiration for Jimin as a fan, while others suspect that there may be truth to the rumor and she's seeking attention by doing this. As of now, neither of the two stars has made an official statement regarding the issue. According to report by Korea Herald, Jimin's agency, Big Hit Entertainment, declined to comment. Finally, let's talk about new jeans. It looks like they've picked a side now. As we know, the tension between HYBE and CEO Min Hee Jin hasn't calmed down. If anything, it's getting worse, and now it's gone to court. So far, the New Jeans members haven't spoken publicly about it and have stayed neutral as they continue their promotions. However, news reports confirm that all five members of New Jeans filed a plea to the court on Friday, the same day a hearing was held regarding the request to nullify Hybe's rights as the 80% owner of Ador, their agency. This marks the first legal action taken by the group since the conflict between their agency and HYBE began last month. Although the content of the plea letters is undisclosed, it's reported that New Jeans expressed their support for Min Hee Jin's side. Media sources discovered that the court documents listed plea letters from Danielle Marsh, Kim Minji, Hani Pham, Kang Tae Rin, and Lee Hae In. Additionally, the parents of the New Jeans members submitted letters in support of Min Hee Jin's side and have hired entertainment dispute specialist attorney Kang Jin Sok to represent them. Attorney Kang clarified that his role was solely to assist in submitting the letters. He stated, I was only commissioned to help with the submission of the petition. Meanwhile, for HYBE to maintain their voting rights at ADOR's shareholders meeting on May 31st, they must prove that Min Hee Jin committed acts justifying her removal as CEO. If HYBE fails to do so, Min Hee Jin can remain as CEO for up to five years. Amidst all this, netizens are expressing concern for the young girls caught in the midst of the adults' fight. New Jeans Minji shared her thoughts with fans on May 17th using the phoning app. She reassured fans saying, Instead of overthinking and worrying, just remember that new jeans are strong. Let's hope for the best for these talented girls. Curious to what happens when idols try to break free from their agencies? Jump to this video, where we delve into the legal battles of idols who have taken their own agencies to court. Or check out how your favorite idols navigate dating secretly. We've got the inside scoop from both idols and industry insiders here. Subscribe now and don't let these fascinating stories pass you by.